Good morning and welcome to Frank's School. This is the sixth year of Frank's School, the 160th day, first video. I think I can be quite brief today. I'm going to call this Degrow Us or else Degrow US. Uh, it's an update, is what it is. It's, a, it's a news from the cutting edge, uh, which I've explained about before. This little group that's trying to put something together, oh uh, boy. Uh, it's trying to put something together for the purpose of degrowth, uh, a, a conference in uh, se uh, September uh, 28th and 29th, I think I've got those right. Uh, it's going. Uh, I mean, it's a small group and it's an odd thing to be working with people you can't see and you're just vaguely in contact with them. But it's picking up a little bit, it seems like. And uh, there is the matter of maybe we should say save the dates. It'll be Chicago. Uh, that's, that's certain now, uh, and it'll be uh, that weekend, and as I say, I think I've got it right. The thing is, I'm going to go. Uh, I realize that I really need to make that commitment. I can. I'm retired. It's not that hard, that big a hardship. I don't like to travel, in spite of the fact that I've done a lot of some pretty spectacular traveling. I don't actually like to. I, I like to learn is what it is. and. And uh, anyway, uh, you know, and, and now that I'm a, a goat herd with a flock of goats that, uh, or a herd of goats that, that are used to me being here, it won't be easy. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Chicago. And, and I'm going to go for two reasons. Uh, I, I will represent the arts, and I've talked about this before. I, I am, I've convinced myself that the humanities, the arts, has to step up uh, to deal with this enormously grave problem. That, that I believe can only be helped, it well, can't be solved, but it, it can only be helped by degrowth, uh, which can be either voluntary or involuntary, but it, it will happen. Uh, anyway, I will go and represent the arts. Hopefully I can find some help. Um, I won't be alone there. Uh, I, and if I, I guess if I found the right person, it would say, no, I'll do that. Then I'll say, oh, I'll stay home. Uh, that and the other thing that I mentioned, which the people in the group are, are not, they, they, you know, they sort of gave me a mandate on the arts, since I'm so seem to be so impassioned about it. I go for it. Uh, all right, I will. Uh, they don't know as much about wages paradigm, but I want to speak to that too. It's almost like I, I, I'll make that a condition. I want to speak to wages paradigm. Now that's if you look hard enough, you can find out about wages paradigm. But it's like the two cultures of C.P. Snow, you know, the humanities and the sciences. This is the science, sciences, and you might even call it pseudosciences, but I'd, I'd like to attract the attention of some scientists to, to listen to me, uh, to, to take a look at that. Uh, and, and I, you know, look at these words, thermodynamic. <laughs> well, the thermodynamics is, is pretty well shown. Uh, and the decentralist and the back to the land connection to, um, to degrowth. Uh, I maintain that all of these go together and I would use wages paradigm to, to do it. Well, I don't want to go into detail about that. There's sort of a rhythm now, I, I think, that, that can be detected. We used to meet uh, on a, t we, we telephone conferenced on Monday evenings at seven, but th th that, that was hard for a lot of people to to get there. So, but I'm using that, the fact that it was Monday evenings, that, that uh, you know, I'll, I'll write stuff on, on our listserv, I think you call it, and, uh, and, and the rhythm kind of picks up. You know, these are busy people. They have lives, they have work, they're not retired like me. So anyway, that's going on. Uh, the, the other thing I'm going to say, I figure there's no point in waiting. If I, if all this happens and I go to Chicago and I speak for, for the arts, I'm going to propose. And I've mentioned it, I think, to a couple of people already, that we began to plan Woodstock's second try from the gardens for August 2009. Second try suggests that the first try failed. Of course, I'm talking about that, the concert, that weekend of love and music, 1969. This is 50 years later. That's unbelievable. 50 years later. But to call it, and you know, there have been some reunions, Woodstock reunions, they tried to do this 25 years and stuff. And I'm sure others will get into this too. But by second, second try, I'm going to suggest that the first try failed. You know, half a million strong, the, the song went, you know, and all that enthusiasm and stuff. But I, but I think it failed from, from the point of the, the, the planet, <laughs> the climate, 
the limits are it failed. But we can try again. Uh, it would be uh, completely decentralized. And when I say from the gardens, well, that's that song, and we've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash made the Joni Mitchell song famous, more famous. Uh, well, from the gardens. I, I, th I think we can plan a Woodstock that would be decentralized, that would have input from all over the world. And, uh, you know, it's bold. But, you know, the time is short. I, 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 as I say to some of my fellow planners, I, I think I, I feel an urgency that I don't see it quite as much in the others. A, a very famous man named Dennis Meadows, uh, I think he just finally despaired. Uh, far from urgency, he just, I, I, from what I've heard, he's older than me, and from what I heard about him with the limits to growth and stuff, he just despaired. Well, I, in any case, uh, because of that, I figure I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to suggest that. Let's, let's do that.